Hey, what's up, guys? So you know it's best here. Here about to talk about two brand new cameras that Samsung just unveiled here at IFA 2011: the MV800 and also the NX200. Now, the first camera I start with is the MV800, and going over some of the specs: it has a 16 megapixel sensor, it has a 26 millimeter wide angle lens, it has five times optical zoom, it has a noise reduction function for the movie. Of recording it can shoot HD movies it has some 3d uh, photo capabilities as well um, it has live panorama and also too is gonna be costing $279 so not a bad price point for these digital cameras now those are the specs but the one cool thing about this camera itself is that the MV in this name the MV 800 the MV stands for multi view because this 3 inch LCD display that's on the back of it can flip all the way up and this is gonna be great for you taking portrait shots or portrait video um, you want to take pictures of yourself if you're out somewhere by yourself, of course, you know, you want to, just like I was out here at the uh, Berlin Wall, I wasn't out by myself, but I was taking pictures by myself, and I can take a, a very easy picture uh, of myself and get the background in and make sure I'm in frame, make sure I'm in view, make sure I'm in focus and all that stuff with this. So that is really, really cool. And also, too, when you do flip it up all the way, it does cover up the shutter button that's at the top, but they've been cleverly put the another shutter button right there on the back of the camera itself so that's pretty nice and uh, it worked just fine so I had no problems using that feature at all. Uh, the next camera I'm about to show you is the Samsung NX200. Now this camera has a 20.3 megapixel sensor it has an interchangeable lenses for it and also too it has the eye function 2.0 which allows you to change certain settings on the lens itself so you want to you know mess with the menus and things like that when you're going to be out shooting pictures so you can change the ISO or the white balance or the aperture right on the lens itself which is pretty cool it also has full 1080p HD video mode and uh, it's going to be around $900 when, when this comes out and it's going to come with a 18 millimeter to 55 millimeter zoom lens and an on-camera flash so this camera takes really nice looking pictures I'm showing you some more pictures from Geek Beak TV and I was pretty impressed with the pictures they were too uh, with the uh, the type of images that this camera can produce and the beauty of this camera again you can change out multiple lenses but it still has a overall small form factor as far as the body is concerned um, so depending on what lens that you have with the camera is going to depend on really how goofy you're going to look with a very, very big lens and a small little body. Um, but when I was holding it, it felt balanced it, or as balanced as it could be uh, for this type of system. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below about what you think about these new cameras from Samsung, the NX200 or the MV800. Which one would you probably get? And again, I'll be bringing more coverage and more news from IFA 2011 out here in Berlin. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.